guys, this is Sam. Today we're going to learn how to create RGB2 Exa color converter in JavaScript. This is going to be interesting lesson today. And before that, if you are new to my channel, consider subscribing so that you can get more videos like this. Okay, let's create a new HTML file and I'm going to name it like this and I'm going to save it inside my desktop and HTML file snippet and our HTML title. Okay, I'm going to create a div here. So this is going to be the controls and I'm going to create an input range. Actually, if you put type equal to range, it will create a slider, okay? And I'm going to set min as zero and max as 255 since RGB takes 250, uh, max as 255. And I just want to set the value as zero. This will be the default value, okay? So, and I'm going to create new input element. So this input text is going to show the value of the slider, okay? So let me set the value also zero. And let me give, uh, whenever the range changes, this input will change, okay? So I'm, let me give the ID here, read value element. And okay, whenever it changes, it should be changed, right? Okay, we need to add on change event. So document dot get element by ID. Sorry, get element by ID and read val l dot value equal to this dot value so that whenever the value changes this text box will get affected okay so uh, seems fine and let me add this text red okay and two breaks here okay let me copy this two lines of code and paste it here paste it here and let's change this to green and let's copy and paste it here. Okay, now this should be blue. Blue, copy it and paste it here. Most importantly, the labels, green and blue. That's it. Okay, let's create one more uh, text element. Uh, default value as 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. And this is going to show the hexadecimal value. Okay, so let's set the ID as hexa value. Okay, everything seems good. Let's give it a shot. Let's open up the browser and see how it looks like. Okay, I am searching for the file. Where is the file? RGB2. Yeah. Okay, as you can see, whenever I change this slider, the text box gets the recent, I mean, updated values. Okay, so that's what we have done. And one more thing. Look at this uh, width of this width of the width of that text area. Let me change that. Style equal to width thirty. Okay, let's copy this piece of code and paste it here and paste it here. Okay, that's it. Let's give it a shot. Yeah, that's it. Okay, now let's write the JavaScript part. Okay, so let's open up the script tag. Now I'm going to um add the references of the html elements so red val element green val element and blue val element so let's add the reference red val element document dot get element by id and give the reference okay so let me copy this line and paste it here paste it here green val l okay give me some time to type these things and blue val l let's copy this and paste it here and this one okay and one more guy is there i forgot x a value okay we need to include that guy also so where x a value equal to document dot get element by id x a value okay now we need to uh, call the method whenever the on change happens okay so now we are just updating the value right after updating the value, we need to convert that uh, RGB to the hexadecimal, right? So I'm going to write this method, convert. So before that, let's define here all these three places. Okay, let's write the method. Function, okay, let's take the template, convert. Now I'm going to 
uh, get all the values from all these elements. So red value L, green value L, blue value L. So these elements are going to give the value of that uh, particular slider. So red equal to red value L dot value and green. So green equal to green value L dot value. So this will give the green value and this will give the blue value. Okay, now we need to um, convert these colors into hexadecimal. So before that, let me introduce a variable var hexa color code equal to um, ash symbol. So which is very important. All the color codes will start with this and we need to convert the red, green, blue into the hexadecimal values. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to write a separate method to convert this integer into hexadecimal. So let's write the method um, function get hexa. Okay, this will take a single argument and it will convert. Okay, what I'm going to do is before I convert, I just ensure whether this value is integer. So if it is not integer, it will become a problem. So I'm converting this to integer. Okay, this is very important step. Don't forget it. If you give a string to it, it won't work. Okay, after that, we need to convert this integer to hexadecimal, right? So what I'm doing here, is just call the two string method with the value 16. So what will happen here is it will convert the number to base 16. If you want a binary number, just change it to 2. Now we need a hexadecimal, so let me keep it as 16. Okay, and pause it is very important, don't forget. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to assign this value to XR. Okay, most important thing if this length of, uh, if the length of this XR is 1, we need to append 0 to it. So that's what I'm doing here. Uh, x equal to so x plus I'm sorry zero plus x okay okay no need for the L spot actually let's remove this actually instead of these three lines of code we can simply write it okay so using ternary operator x dot length equal to 1 question mark 0 plus xr which happens that and xr so we are going to return this value so let's add the return okay what i'm going to do is i'm just going to call this method get x of red plus get x of green and plus so plus will append the value and blue i think i'm done okay let's give it a shot okay sorry i need to set the value x of value dot value equal to x of color code so this is the very important part okay now open up the browser let's give it a shot okay i think something is wrong it still shows the single digit okay let's see what's the problem mm. Okay, this should be, oh, I know. Oh, okay, x or dot length, the spelling mistake. And let's give it a shot. Okay, seems working, but to ensure, I'm just setting it as 255, 255, 255. Okay, now this gives the color, uh, white color. Okay, anyway, I have a doubt. So to ensure, we'll add some elements here. Div id rgb and let me set width as 100 and height as 100. So just to ensure whether this code is working properly or not. Okay, let me create one more element. Uh, this is XR decimal, XR, okay. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to give RGB to one uh, element and XR decimal to one element. So let's see both colors are same. X, X, fine. Okay, RGB dot style dot background equal to RGB of okay single quote RGB of 
append red plus comma we need to this is actually a difficult job green and blue again append closing brackets okay this is a difficult job and xr x dot style dot background this will be very easy job because we can directly set the extra color code extra color code yeah let's give it a try okay seems fine right so both are showing the same color if you want to ensure just let me inspect this element see both are separate elements but it seems same because of the same color codes okay so instead of this uh, clumsy lines we can simply remove this and add a tile symbol and RGB and this is actually supported only on ES6 okay JavaScript and this is called literals and what you can do is you can simply give the name here red green blue it will work in the same way but it will be easy 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 to understand okay so let's give it a shot okay that seems fine okay okay guys thank you for watching this video and if you like this video hit a like button and share with your friends and if you're new to my channel consider subscribing i'll meet you soon in the next video lesson thank you bye bye